So, you want to learn how to play Blossom? Then you've come to the right place, as we'll be talking about her abilities, battle rights, and general gameplay strategy. Wait, why is she purple? That is no color for an anthropomorphic fawn. Let me fix that. There, much better. Blossom is a ranged support hero that specializes in keeping her teammates alive. She does that with her two healing skills that can more often than not turn the tides of battle. Don't be fooled by her cute appearance. Blossom is more than able to dish out high amounts of damage, rivaling even some of the ranged class heroes. She is of course not without weaknesses. Her specialization in healing leaves her without any counter ability. And as a support hero, she is not especially tanky. Because of that, she can go down pretty quickly when focused by enemy team. Her nemesis are high DPS melee heroes, against which she has very limited defense options. While she has a crowd control ability, it can be unreliable and hard to hit in the heat of battle, making awareness of your surroundings and good positioning essential to playing this hero well. Without further ado, let's have a look at her arsenal of abilities. Blossom's basic attack, Guard Twack, is exactly what you would expect. A ranged, single projectile attack that deals 10 damage. Quite underwhelming. What is much more interesting is the charge version of Twack. This ability charges automatically. When the meter is full, her next attack would hit for a total of 20 damage and inflict snare status for 1.5 seconds, slowing your opponent by 40%. Keep in mind, that the charge shot acts exactly the same as a regular projectile, making it easy to waste by just missing your target. All in all, be sure to only use regular tracks when you have no other way of helping your team, and try to use the snare to either hold enemies in your teammates' area of effect ability, or allowing them to put some space between themselves and an enemy. First of Blossom's two healing abilities, Nourish can heal herself or a teammate. It restores 12 health at first and apply the butterfly status effect, restoring additional 8 health over 6 seconds. Although not the most powerful of heals, it can be effectively spammed. It has 3 charges with a basic cooldown of 3.5 seconds that is further decreased by 1 second for each ally near you when you cast this ability, so be sure to use it whenever you get the chance. Gives the phrase heals for days a whole new meaning. Blossom's main positioning tool, Hop, can be used to put some distance between her and an opponent, or to quickly dodge an area-based attack. This ability is basically a short forward dash. Blossom is immune to incoming attacks during the dash and is granted invisibility and a move speed boost for 1.5 seconds after the dash have ended. To top it off, all movement impairing effects are removed. Since this is Blossom's only positioning tool, be sure to save it for escaping a dangerous situation. As a rule of thumb, Hop should never be used to initiate an attack unless you are sure you can finish an opponent off. Tree of Life is probably Blossom's signature ability. This sapling heals herself and every ally around it for an initial 12 HP and another 30 over 5 seconds. When used well, this ability can easily renew the game. Always keep in mind that your opponents can destroy the tree, ending the healing effect. Since the tree only has 24 HP, it only takes about 2 attacks to be destroyed. This can however be used to your advantage, since you can use it to block your opponent's attacks, especially those that deal no damage, like Jade's disabling shot. Also, try to remember that the tree can be healed. Using Nourish on it not only ensures it to survive the whole 5 seconds, it also gives you energy. Blossom can get to her ultimate very quickly by spamming her healing ability. There is no better feeling than stunning the entire enemy team, allowing for a well-placed Dragon ultimate. That is exactly what Boom Bloom will allow you to experience. True to its name, this ability shoots a single seed that will travel until it hits an enemy, wall or travel the maximum distance. At that point it will create an AoE, stunning every enemy within it after a 1.1 seconds delay. If the seed hits an enemy, 
it will knock them back slightly, inflicting 15 damage. Always be mindful of that fact, as it is possible to accidentally save an enemy from your teammate's attack. Because of the delay, this ability works best in tandem with another disable from your team, but it is entirely possible to use it as an initiation move if your opponent is caught off guard. You can also use Bloom as an escape, throwing it at an enemy that is chasing you. Gust is basically Blossom's barrier ability. Similar to Beko's Bulwark, it will deflect incoming projectiles, making it very useful against many projectile-based ultimates. It unfortunately has no effect on melee attacks. This ability can also be used to create some space between you and an attacker, as it will knock nearby enemies back on cast. Keep in mind that enemies can still get behind you, so you should never consider Gust a shield or counter ability. The special version of Ho, Tag can knock back an opponent, dealing 25 damage. Unlike its normal version, there is a 0.5 seconds windup to this ability, making it harder to hit. Even then, it can be used to save an ally or knock an enemy into the vortex. Still, because it will put Hop on cooldown, you should consider this ability highly situational. Sure, you can deal some damage to your opponent. But landing in the middle of the enemy team, with your only escape being on cooldown, usually result in a very dead Bambi. Remember when I called Tag situational? The same definitely cannot be said about Blossom's third special ability, Forest Sanctuary. This upgraded version of Tree of Life blocks all damage done to you or your allies in its area of effect, making it extremely useful in every teamfight. The tree can still be destroyed and won't protect you from status effects, so try not to rely on it too much. Although the sanctuary provides no healing by itself, it can still be used to heal your allies with the right battle rights, but more about that later. Finally, we get to Blossom's ultimate ability. Similar to Rook's ulti, Dance of the Triads launches Blossom into the air, releasing four waves of energy that travels in a straight line upon landing. Each wave deals 20 damage to every enemy it passes through while weakening them. The weakened status effect reduces the opponent's damage by 50% for 2 seconds, while also reducing their healing ability by the same margin. Blossom is invulnerable while in the air, but she can be stunned or silenced if hit while on the ground. The waves themselves can also be reflected, so take care not to hit your teammates with a wrongly placed ulti. As with every champion, the choice of battle rights relies heavily on the situation. Are you playing a 2v2 or a 3v3 match? Are you expected to be primarily a healer? Or are you expected to contribute to the DPS output of your team? Luckily, Blossom's battle rights allows for both approaches and there are none that could be considered useless. The final choice would of course depend mostly on your preferred playstyle, so it is impossible for me to create some ultimate lowdown. I will, however, point out several battle rights I personally find very really useful. I will also present two lowdowns, one enhancing Blossom's already respectable healing abilities and other focused more on higher damage output. This battle right basically doubles the mobility granted by Hop, as it can be recast upon landing. Although the second dash is shorter, it still allows you to close on a fleeing enemy or get to safety when an opponent predicts your first hop. Remember when I said you can heal your allies even with the forest sanctuary? This is the battle right that allows you to do it. When selected, Nourish cast on your tree will also heal all allies in its area of effect by the same amount. The downside to this battle right is its reliance on teamwork and well-placed trees, but if you can manage to place 12 during a teamfight, you can almost ensure your team's victory. A battle right that essentially makes one of your abilities many times stronger, Poof allows you to recast Gust knocking you and your enemy apart while deep 12 damage. This somehow helps against Blossom's biggest weakness, high DPS melee champions. 
It can also give you that precious second or two to let Hop get off cooldown. This loadout focuses mainly on the highest possible healing output, strengthening Nourish and making sure your tree can survive as long as possible. Since you need to be alive to continue healing your team, we will include Hop and Skip as well as Puff to increase Blossom's mobility and the ability to survive teamfights. My advice would be to only use this loadout when you are playing a 3v3 match and can be sure that your teammates will have high enough DPS to take care of the opponents, since your own damage output will be rather limited. Even when in a more aggressive role, Blossom is more suited towards a control-based playstyle. This loadout helps in keeping your opponent stunned and increasing your own damage output. Your survivability will definitely be lower, but thanks to the faster recharge rate of your weapon, you can keep your enemies snared, allowing you to stay ahead of them. The gift of nature becomes your main escape tool, as it will leave a seed behind when you use hop. If an enemy is chasing you at the moment, it is more than likely they will be stunned by it, allowing you to deal more damage to them. This loadout is more suited for a 2v2 match, or when the enemy team lacks a high mobility melee damager. We already covered Blossom's abilities and better rights, so let's talk about some basic tips for playing her effectively. We won't be of course able to talk about everything as there is always more to learn, but maybe these few pointers can give you a head start against your opponents. Always keep the positioning in mind. We talked about this before, but Blossom is very vulnerable when an enemy can get close to her, so keep an eye on your cooldowns and try to have an escape ability ready for when you need it. Stay close to your team. Your Nourish ability gets reduced cooldown for each ally close to you, so try to use that to your advantage. Your teammates can also help you more easily when the enemy team decides to focus you, and they will do that as your healing can otherwise turn the gant against them. Remember that your tree can be used to block incoming attacks. Not only that, it can also block your opponent. Although there is no way to block a passage completely, it can force your enemy to either destroy it or walk around it giving you a few extra seconds to escape. Be sure to adapt your loadout based on team composition. This is true for every champion. Don't expect every match to be the same. Take into account not only your team, but also the opposing one. Do they have a lot of high DPS heroes? Are they stacked on mobility? Make changes to your loadout accordingly. Probably the most important tip of them all. Always remember that Battle Ride is a game. It is made to be an entertaining experience. Granted, it can get very competitive, but that is no reason to get angry over a lost match. Just play to have fun, because after all, that is why all of us play games. So, that would be it. I sincerely hope that you learned something new by watching this video. In no way do I claim to be a master at this game, so it's more than likely that I forgot to talk about something. If so, be sure to tell me in the comments. Also, if this is your first visit, consider subscribing. I try to make new videos every week and by subscribing you can make sure you won't miss any. All that's left is to wish you all a great day. Hope to see you next time.